Hey guys, I'm glad you're here and this will be a short video. I want to show you how to make a fondant letters because I know that it's uh, quite difficult to write with the hand, uh, with buttercream or with the color. And the easiest way how to personalize a cake is to make uh, fondant letters. We use it in our bakery very often. And it's super easy, but there is some secrets how to make it smooth and look good because if you will do it first time, maybe it will look messy, but don't worry, I will show you everything. You will need a fondant and as you know, there is a two types, maybe three types of fondants. Um, there is a regular fondant where to cover a cake and here I have a model paste, it's for um, figures uh, for everything that you need when you need a thick and stable fondant you will see in the shops there is different type please find the model uh, fondant and it's a little bit hard Knead in your hand. Um, you can put it in two, five seconds in the microwave, but I'm not suggesting you doing that uh, because the fondant gets liquid uh, with sh sugar syrup out of there, and it will be in different structure than you need it. So just uh, use your hand to work and knead till it gets softer. Actually, before this video, I knead a little bit for some minutes. And and right now it's in the right consistency you will feel it uh, that you can press it and it's still hard but uh, you can uh, model it if you have a very warm hand be careful I have a very cold hand it's uh, good for decoration but I know many of you have very warm hands so be uh, very precise and you will need um, to roll it out on your silicon mat and of course you need um, letters i'm buying it in confessionary shop or you can buy it online um, depends on how big you need i have small one metal it's very old you will see that i'm using quite often and uh, but it's still very good in shape and uh, i have some years it with me and one more uh, secret you need a cord starch uh, Corn starch will help you not to stick it on the mat and it will be easier to put uh, from your molds your letters. It's super easy. Roll it out. Of course, you can use a white one fondant and then color it in gold or in silver. Uh, uh, very often we use a sprays which is in gold and it looks very good. You just press out white ones and then spray it with your wanted color but I already here have red one you can buy colored fondants or you can color it with dyes use a gel color so it will be easier to incorporate mix in the fondant I'm rolling it out till about two millimeters or one millimeter it will be it need to be very very thin Uh, in first time, uh, you will take, uh, you will think that it's uh, thin enough, but you will feel it uh, that it's hard and it's uh, not that thin. So continue rolling. As I have silicone mat uh, on my table, then it's easy to stick it off and then uh, turn around. But if you're doing it on your table without silicone mat, just uh, pour a little bit uh, cornstarch on your table either okay we are already done just some more rolls if your letters will be very uh, thick it will look massive but we need glamorous letters okay it's very big amount of fondant. You don't. You need actually small, maybe 50 grams. Here is almost 200 grams. Then I'm taking um, letters. We will press out sweet 16. Uh, I'm taking just a little bit of cornstarch. I'm touching with my mold in cornstarch. Take off everything that's on it, and then press it. 
S. Sometimes it's coming out, out with, uh, in the mold, sometimes it gets on the mat. Don't worry, if it's on the mat, it's perfect, it will be easier to take off. If not, you need a soft brush with the soft head and just gently press it, but really gently. If you press it hard, you will get uh, drops inside and it will look massive. Just gentle all around, all around, till it gets out. When you have a small piece out, take your fingers and take it out. And here we have S. Find the next letter. It's always very messy here and I can't find correct letters. So it will be a while. Okay, I find E. Sweet, we needed two E. Again, I'm using my brush very carefully if you have a long nails use a gloves because with long long nails you will get dots inside your leather and when you get out it it will be in not correct shape just shape it with your fingers to make it smaller one more important thing what you need about um, what you need to know about uh, fondant uh, letters, please use it on the correct surface. Um, it's not um, whipped cream or it's not uh, card cream. It's something hard, for example, buttercream, chocolate, because it will be melt on the liquid surface. Only buttercreams, ganaches, uh, but not ganache drips, it's too liquid for it. Uh, chocolate drips, it will be good. Where is my double V? Oh no, this is double V, okay. Sweet. Don't use um, wood sticks, it again will have a drops. And T, we need a T. Oh. Sweet, and now we need 16. 16 1 and 6 Store it in some bag or maybe container or wrap it with the plastic wrap and store it how long you need and the letters could be stored in room temperature for again one year but it will get very hard like uh, candy but it will be easier to you to put it on the cake if it will be harder then always prepare uh, your decoration one day before or maybe one week before when you have time for that. Smooth it out with the finger or use a toothbrush to smooth out all edges. And here it is, we have a fondant letters, sweet 16. And in next video, I will show you cake decoration, how we use these letters. It will be very beautiful vintage heart cake uh, with piping. So stay tuned and see you in the next video. Ciao.